Hey everybody, this is Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. Today we're going to talk about a particular plugin that was just recently made by Krabs. It's called Clockworks by Krabs under Utilities in the Stream Deck store. I had the pleasure of testing this out before it actually rolled out to everybody because I asked him, hey, do you think you can make this bigger? He made an original Stream Deck plugin, but it was reduced to one button. It was too small for my eyes. I wanted to make my entire Stream Deck, like the whole background, a clock and calendar. So he did it. He made the plugin. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to get started here. You know, Elgato, anytime that you do a new profile or anything, it is going to always have the welcome screen on here. And when you do it, it takes you directly to this URL. But we, we don't need to worry about this. So let's get started here. Let's go ahead and start with the date. All right. So here we go. We are going to do Today is, see where it says day, name, three characters? That is Saturday. Today is Saturday. So we're going to put that in this section here. Now, the cool thing about this is you can change the fonts. There are so many cool fonts. Check that out. It's pretty awesome, right? I'm going to go ahead and for demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and just keep the original font. So you can always delete it, re-add it, etc. So the next thing I want to do is the month. And we are going to go to the month name, or you can do the month number. For example, the month is four. And then we can do the date. The day is the 16th. And I prefer the four-digit format. What I'm going to do, because I personally don't like the number, I like to see the month that I'm in because I will forget. And the number, I'm like, wait, what month is it? What year is it? So me personally, I am going to go with the month name, three characters, and keep it April. So April 16th, 2022. Next thing that we're going to do is work on the clock. Because this is going to be the regular 15 key stream deck, I am actually going to be using the medium. If you have an XL, I strongly recommend using the large ones. Um, I do have an, a stream deck XL as well. But uh, for now, we're just going to stick with what we're doing on the 15 key, as most people generally have the 15 key stream deck. If you have the extra large one, awesome. Uh, 32 buttons is wonderful, and it's just not enough, right? So that's one thing I loved about Elgato is they created these pages, so that way we could do that. Honestly, I don't need an extra page for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go with the medium because medium is still big enough that I can view something. So we're going to stay with the medium numbers here. All righty. Let's see. So it says medium AM PM. You know what? Let's go ahead and throw that right there for right now. That way, at least we can see that it's the evening, right? Because look, it says 652 my time. I'm in central time in the U.S. So that's that's where I'm at. And what I'm going to do is put my separators here. So these are large separators, right? And, and they're very visible. And then there's medium separators, still visible. I'm going to go with medium. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I, you know, how do I add something custom like a photo like I did show you in the original preview? Well, we're going to get there. All right, so now we're going to look for medium numbers. Medium 12-hour two-digit. The reason why I'm going to choose the two-digit instead is because it is going to give me what I need. So here it is, 6 p.m. And we're going to do the medium minutes. It has double digits as well. So it's 6.53. You can actually do medium seconds. Check this out. So like you know instantly when it's going to turn 6.54. There you go. And this is to a T down to the seconds. So if you're like me and you're on Windows 11, Windows 11 doesn't let you do in registry edit um, seconds. And I love seconds. So I am very grateful that he has this feature because now I'm able to keep track of my time. Honestly, this is all I need on my stream deck. If, if you want to add a custom photo, make sure to add the blank separators in those that do not have anything here. So that way you can actually add the photo. And you see this photo right here of the frog I took. I always call frogs Kermit that are green. So we're going to actually make this our backdrop, right? So uh, Elgato has this wonderful make your stream deck yours. We're going to actually do wallpaper mode. So this is for the 15 keys. And if you needed to change your stream deck to Excel, this is for the 32 keys. And if you have the stream deck mini, you're going to be doing this. Honestly, I think you can pull off doing the clock on the mini. Um, 
but it's probably going to be a tight fit where you have the hour right here, the separator here, and then the minutes here. So I don't, I mean, I'm sure you can customize it to your liking and put like the PM right here or something, or just even the date if you wanted. But honestly, I prefer to have a bigger stream deck just so that way I can see what I need to see. And the 15 key is more than enough because you can always add pages and folders. But um, me personally, I have an XL and, and a, a 15 key. I won the 15 key in an Elgato contest. And you know what, y'all? It, it's amazing when you do win. But I'll tell you, anybody can win in those contests. So don't forget to enter those Elgato contests. They're actually running one right now, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a, something to do with a couple of other people who are uh, doing like a $5,000 PC. So check them out. Anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. Um, here we go. We are going to be doing our photo, right? So we want to go ahead and add our photo here, right? There we go. That, that's what it was. Okay. So we're going to have to come to our desktop, select the photo that we want. And then what we're going to do is save these keys. Now we could probably move it up. And there we go. We have the frog right in the middle. We're going to save the keys. We're going to save as. And this is going to take me to my downloads folder, right? So stream deck keys are right here. All right, so I'm going to extract this here and I'm going to bring my photo I just created as a backdrop in the keys format that Elgato just uh, provided me with over here. So I'm doing this real time showing you. This is going to be how the cutout is set up. We're going to minimize this for now. So in Saturday, we're going to go ahead and choose our file. And we're going to choose number one. So this is important in the order that you're doing this. Okay, we're going to scroll down and we're going to rinse and repeat. This is number two. Number three. So on and so forth. We're getting there. It's just going to take me a moment to do them one by one. Because this is the only way that you're going to actually get the photo to look wonderful. And this is gonna actually start over row by row. This is gonna be number six. Seven. All right, so we're getting to the frog's face, right? Here's eight. And yes, this is a photo I took. Um, for those that don't know, I enjoy photography. It is very fun to go out there in the world and take photos. Wait, seven, eight, nine. There we go. <laughs> I had to count. All right, here we go. That just does not look right to me. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> that was number eight. I was like, wait, I think I selected the wrong one. And it's easy to go back and fix it. Like, it's not something to stress out about, y'all. All right, here we go. And we are almost done. So this is 11. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And lastly, fifteen. The reason why you want to fill out those blank separator right here is so that way you can add that backdrop if you are doing a custom background. And so that's going to be how you set up your Stream Deck. For those who want to know how to do a Stream Deck with a custom clock and the date as a calendar, it's going to look just like this, but on your Stream Deck. And it looks pretty awesome. 